Okay, next sub story. Howdy. <laughs> yeah, I highly doubt they'd be driving a flower parade car around this time of year. I'm telling you, I saw one. There was even a blinky red light on the roof. Yeah. I'm pretty sure what you saw was a taxi. That's the only explanation I can think of. A taxi with a blinking red light. Hmm. Excuse me. Wah! Huh? Oh, shoot. Uh, can we help you, sir? I don't mean to interrupt, but can you tell me about this taxi you saw? Well, she says she saw a taxi with a blinking red light, right? Yeah. What do you call those lights taxis have on the roof? Uh, anyway, the taxi I saw had one of those. I told her I've never seen anything like that before. I saw it, I swear. Maybe it only happens to people who are lucky. Oh, maybe we should go buy her a lottery ticket. You two got, get to learn something today. Huh? The light you see on taxi's roof, that usually means it's not carrying a passenger, correct? Oh, uh, right. But in an emergency, you can make it blink red to warn those around you that something's wrong. Like what? For example, if the driver is attacked by a thief, they can press a button to silently call for help. Seriously? So that taxi I saw? Where did you see it? It was stopped on Nagasu Boulevard, north of the intersection up ahead. That was a little while ago now though, so it might already be gone. It's probably too late to call the police now. I'll go and check it out myself. I'll go and take a look. Can you notify the police just in case? Are you sure you're going to be alright, dude? Drivers always come to help anyone showing that signal, even when it's another company. Oh, so you're a taxi driver too? Dang, I straight up thought you were yakas- I mean, that explains why you know so much. Be careful then. I- Uh, is that marked on the map now? Uh, is it the one behind me and up? I don't think that was there before, was it? I forget where it says it was. Wait, what was that? There we go. Walked over a shiny. And another one. Is this the level up? Huge! There it is. From this distance, nothing looks amiss except for the light. I'd better check the interior. They sped off as soon as I got close. Did they know I was here to help? Seems like they headed north. Alright, time to go after them. Oh boy. Is that gonna be marked on the map? Yep, it's at the intersection, okay. I wish it would show you, like, I wish it would be a different colour if it was an already in progress. I see that, motherfucker. If it was an already in progress quest, I wish it would be a different colour to make that obvious. Because as it is, I just have to remember that there wasn't one here before. Fuck off, mate. Damn, I lost sight of them. Talk about dangerous, these taxis are out of control. What happened? Yikes! Uh, I mean, what happened is I just about got flattened by a taxi. Guy was driving like a maniac. Was the light on the taxi flashing red? Actually, it was. I caught a glimpse of the driver, and he had a look on his face like he'd seen a ghost. Maybe he had an impatient passenger. He looked like he'd seen a ghost, huh? Then it must have been some kind of emergency. Do you know which way the taxi? Oh, do you know which way the taxi went? It was headed towards Suzukake Lane, I think. Suzu Kake Lane. Got it. Thanks. You've been a big help. I'd better hurry. That driver's in trouble. Whereabouts is Bukake Lane? <laughs> uh, is there any way of seeing the road names? Doesn't look like it. Uh... I'm thinking the one down bottom left wasn't there before. I'm trying to remember where the ones we've seen were. I think left is the one that wasn't there. Yeah, it says, now it says at the bottom briefly, it said we're on fucking Bukake Lane, so. 
Any more shinies that I can see? Shiny, 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 shiny. Found it. And it's driven off again. Wow, exciting. Hey, wait, what gives? Something wrong. Huh? Oh, it's just that the driver is a friend of mine. I called out when I saw him, but he was acting real strange. What do you mean? He looked really spooked. He mumbled something about Yakuza. Yakuza? Maybe his passenger. No, it's he's driving away thinking you're chasing him. Then he glanced up at his rearview mirror and sped off all of a sudden. It's weird. Must have been threatened from the back seat. No, he's being threatened by you, you idiot. Did you see his passenger? No, I didn't look in the back. You think he's caught up in some kind of trouble? Which way did the taxi go? Straight on ahead. That's towards Fukuhaku Street. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Fucking one step out of cutscene. Wait. Hang on. <laughs> I, I thought this was just a random event. Is this actually a thing? He's in some tournament. You're in a special category. Okay, I, I was just skipping because I assumed it was just the, you know, normal post-fight nothing dialogue, but I guess this is actually some kind of sub-story then, maybe? I help run the Victory Road Tournament. It's an underground fighting contest with qualifiers held concurrently all over Japan. Like I said, never heard of it. Anyway, you got the wrong guy. I'm not Kazuma Kiyu. Very well. Taichi Suzuku-san will do just fine. Most of the entrants already assume that you'll participate. Mm -hmm. After all, a man of your stature can't ever truly melt into a crowd, even outside of Kamurocho. Isn't that right, Suzuki-san? A certain tournament entrant told us you were in town. Perhaps you'd like to speak to him directly. Ooh. Where would I find him? Osei Bridge. His name is Ren Higashino. I don't know anyone by that name. He's just another young fighter trying to make a name for himself. Now, if you'll excuse me. Ren Higashino. He said he'd be over on Osei Bridge. Yeah, I definitely don't care about a fucking fighting game. No, thank you. Isn't that the taxi with the emergency signal on? Nobody's in there. I guess I was too late. Where'd the driver and that Yakuza go? Alright, I know you've been following me. What is it you want? So you're the one behind this. Nice of you to come straight to me. Now what did you do with the driver? Huh? You're not making any damn sense, but if you've come looking for trouble, you've found it. You better skedaddle, or else... Not happening. Taxi drivers may be rivals, but we've got to look out for each other. I'm pretty sure this is the taxi driver that you're fighting right now. Ow. That looked painful. Ugh, I guess that's what I get for picking a fight with a Yakuza. You're the Yakuza. I'm just an ordinary civilian. What? I'm the civilian here. You mean you're not the angry Yakuza passenger? What the hell does that mean? Do I look like Yakuza to you? I hate those money-grabbing, finger-chopping assholes. Wait, are you the driver? What in tarnation are you rambling about? Of course I'm the driver. Why aren't you wearing a uniform? Hey, I was on break. What's the point of being all buttoned up for that? True. So you weren't getting robbed. Robbed? Who was getting robbed? I thought a passenger was threatening you and that's why you were driving erratically. Why on earth would you think that? I was just taking a nap when some Yakuza type tried to get in the car, so I drove off. I've had a lot of nasty trouble whenever those folks try to hitch a ride and I'll be damned if I let it happen again. But the guy today just kept chasing after me. I thought he was crazy or something. This Yakuza, are you saying? It's you. Is that why you flashed the emergency light? Did I? See for yourself. Oh, whoops. Must have hit the switch when I was napping again. I tend to toss and turn. I'm a side sleeper, you see. 
Well, sorry about that. I didn't take you for one of us. I'm allergic to Yakuza, so I thought I had a pretty good instinct for spotting them. This is the first time my gut has been wrong. I'm really ashamed I thought so badly of a fellow driver. Don't worry about it. Just be careful not to trip that switch by accident again. I don't know what to say. I've never had someone go to so much trouble to help me out before. You're right. Taxi drivers may be rivals, but we've got to look out for each other. Those are damn good words to live by. Anyway, thanks. Take this for your trouble. Okay, I'd better go back to work. Good luck out there. Eh, that was alright. <laughs> it was kind of funny, but I got the joke like halfway through and then you just had to keep playing it out, so... I think the best one is still the first one. Because that was a really fun minigame. Uh, we can only get one, so... Let's just go health up. Right, next. Uh, we are all the way down there, okay. If we do a little 180, then there's one down bottom right. Yeah, I will at least uh, check out most, if not all, of Kiyu's ones. I mean, I don't know if that tournament one was one, probably. I'm not interested in that. Anything to do with the combat in these games, pass. But stuff like uh, the side quests we've had so far, I am interested in checking out. I'm curious if I'll be as interested in checking out other playable characters' substories, because, like, half the appeal of doing substories is more Kiryu, but if I'm not playing Kiryu, then I don't know if I'd care so much, but... Huh? What's with that car? Oh, what's the spangled meteor doing around here? What a son. You know about this car? Why, is this the, is this the first time you've seen it? It is. There's something special about it. Well, sure. The lady who drives this sexy piece of machinery is in charge of the Vixen Zeros. They call her the Spangled Meteor. And what's the Vixen Zeros? They say they're a group of gorgeous women who can outspeed anyone they challenge. Wish they'd drive up on me someday. So they're essentially an all-girl street racing team. According to the stories, yeah. But I've never heard of anyone who's actually seen their faces. <laughs> and they may not be gorgeous at all. Ha, huh, that's about the size of it. Guess you could say it's one of those urban legends. Oh, and apparently the only way to see them is to beat them in a race. Interestingly enough, the Vixen Zeros are usually the ones who initiate the challenges. If you lose, they just speed off. But if you win, you catch a glimpse of true beauty. But if nobody's ever seen them in person, does that mean they're undefeated? Who knows? All I've heard are rumours. Sure makes a good story though, don't you think? <laughs> huh, I guess you're right. Okay. Is the only way to trigger these races, like with them and with the other gang and stuff, to actually do the taxi missions? Because I have no interest in the taxi missions, because they're so slow and everything. But I would quite like to do the race missions, but I don't know if there's any way of activating the race missions. Without just having people rock up on you while you're doing a taxi mission, which I don't want to do, so... <laughs> Conundrum. Uh... How do I get in here? What's in here? Oh, this is Kamaki. No, I don't care about you. Combat? No, thank you. Pass. Honk, honk. Honk honk. Honk honk. Honk honk. Honk. <laughs> Was that a dog? Woofer? Rare Papa? Oh, what's up? Okay, me next. I'll hit- Wait, fuck you guys. Can you kill them all? Stop it. Don't you bully Chiro anymore. Who's this kid? Is that a dog? 
Who cares? Hey kid, you better scoot or we'll throw rocks at you next. <laughs> Heh, yeah. Show no mercy. That's how we dropouts do it. Screw the rules. Annihilate everything. No! Giga Chad is here to save the day. Huh? Who's this old prick? You lost on your way to the bingo game. Funny. I feel like this isn't the first time seeing this. Oh dear. But now he's babbling on like a senile old fool. He's losing it. Hey, mister. You're not one of them, are you? Not even close. Just stand back and you'll see. You there. Does it make you feel strong to pick on the weak and defenseless? It's a shame I have to say this, but I guess every town has its fair share of losers. Shut your face. You should have never messed with us in the first place. Boys, cripple this son of a bitch. Triple D's. Swag. Dude, we are so sorry. Please don't hurt us anymore. Pack of gum. Wonderful. Cheers. Don't mention it. They didn't hurt you, did they? If you'd like, I can take you home. Actually, I ran away. I had a fight with my dad. A kind girl like you really ran away from home. Yeah. My dad's probably still angry with me, so I don't want to go back right now. What's your name? It's Haruka. Oh. <laughs> Haruka Shinohara. Haruka? Interesting. Even your name is the same. The same as who? So you and this Haruka-chan live apart now? Yeah. I'm not sure I'll ever s What the fuck? Surely you'll see her again. What? Why not? Can't you just go and visit? It's a bit more complicated than that. As much as I want to be in her life, I know I'm only being selfish. What, because she's trying to make it as a star? I don't think that's a... Surely, surely she's also telling you, like, no, come and fucking visit, dickhead. It's been a year and a half since that conversation on the beach. Have they really not seen each other since then? And what, what was he doing in the year in between? Because he said he's been here for six months. But that conversation with him leaving was a year and a half ago. So there's a, there's a gap of a year in there where we have no idea what he's been doing. Besides, I think I've done all I can for her as a father. This is probably for the best. Well, that's not true. She's... I don't know how old she is. But like 14 or something now, right? No, she's going to be younger than that. Didn't he say she starts high school next year? Although, does high school mean the same... I don't know. I don't think high school means the same thing in Japan as it does here, does it? I think she's like, she's something between like 14 and 16 maybe? I can't remember. But yeah, it's definitely, definitely not the time when most people are leaving home, you know? Definitely too young to not have a father figure at all anymore. How about you? Why'd you run away? Here's the thing, I'm not actually related to my dad either. Huh? I guess that's another thing I've got in common with your Haruka-chan. Strange, isn't it? My real dad died a long time ago, and normally my stepdad's really nice, but he gets super angry these days. Something about work not going well. I don't know the details. Anyway, he blew up at me for some reason, and I told him to his face my real dad would never yell at me. Then I left the house. When I mentioned having a real dad, my stepdad got this really sad look on his face. He just kept staring at me like he'd been hit in the head or something. That's when I knew I'd hurt his feelings real bad. I guess that's why he didn't come running after me. I bet mum and dad are glad I'm not around to cause trouble anymore. So, so now I've got nowhere to go home. Where do you live, Haruka? I'll go get your dad to come pick you up. I don't think he... Your dad was probably just caught off guard. There's no way he'd be happy you're gone. I'm sure of it. It's also a dad's job to bring his kids home when they run away. You just need to wait for him. Where's your dad right now? Probably at Cafe Portugal, working with Mum. We actually live in that building. Cafe Portugal. Okay, I'll be back with your dad soon. Hang tight. Okay. Uh, where the fuck is Cafe Portugal?
Uh, it's not on the map. <sighs> Wonderful. Um, okay, I don't think there were two in the center before, right? So I guess it's there. Also, what's the exclamation mark? There's an exclamation mark up in the top left that wasn't there before. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Fuck out my way, dickhead. Was that a shiny? Okay, are either of you the one? Uh, I don't think this is the one. I think this is something different. Whatever. You're actually pretty cute, you know. You could earn a killing at our place. Oh, no thanks. Babe, don't be scared. We're just trying to have a little conversation. What he said. You're in good hands with us. Sorry, but I have somewhere to be. That's fine. It won't take long. Yeah, it'll all be over in no time. Here, just step into the club for a bit. I said I wasn't interested. Hey, quit bothering her, you clowns. Hello? Huh? What gives you the right to tell us what to do? Can't you see you're making her uncomfortable? Just, just let her be on her way. Or... All we want is a moment of her time. Fuck your moment of time. <laughs> Hell yeah. Sweetie, you can go now. Oh, okay. Um, thank you. We stand this woman. God freaking damn it, she's gone. Oh well, at least she got replaced with an even prettier package. We'll talk her up instead. And boy, does she have the goods. Mmm, and that fiery attitude. Just my type. Hey, hot stuff. You interested in making some serious cash? <laughs> Yeah, if you came to work at our club, you'd be rolling in dough in no time. Yeah, right. If the rest of your club operates like you two amateurs, I'd only be rolling in regret. So no thanks. Huh? You nasty little bitch. I dare you to say... Ooh, hiccup. I dare you to say that again. Heh, <laughs> this chick's so hot she thinks she can actually burn us. Babe, if you want to make a good first impression, that's really not how you do it. Who said I wanted to impress you? Next time you talk to a lady, try having more class than, Hey, baby, I'm too dumb to treat you with respect. Wanna bang? Huh? Hey, I do not talk like that, huh? do I? This bimbo, I think we need to teach this biker babe wannabe some manners. Hey, back off. Seriously, call it. You barkers are known for your restraint, but this is crossing a line. Tuh, and who are you supposed to be? Just another person passing by. If you think I'll keep on walking while some goons harass a lady, you're mistaken. I appreciate the gesture, but I'm fine. These pricks don't know what kind of lady they're dealing with. Huh? Huh. Step right up, then. We're gonna pound you both into the ground. I don't know what your deal is, but I can't let your attitude go unpunished. Bada 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 bum. <laughs> Incredible. I thought he'd just smash it over his head like he does on all the other games with a bike. That's way better. Sorry, we'll leave. Are you alright? Yeah, and you? I thought I said stay out of this. 
Don't worry. This is far from the first fight I've been in. No shit. Well, you did help me keep from getting my hands dirty. Hey, why don't I buy you a drink? My way of saying thanks. Yeah. Don't worry about it. I'm not in it for any reward. You might be fine with that, but I hate leaving favors unpaid. It's a karma thing. The name's Renan and Army. Here's my business card. Zero girls. Heh, so you can read. Yeah, that's my club. I hate it when people call me mama, though. I see. No wonder you carry yourself that way. <laughs> well, when you're a woman, you've got to keep your head held high or people take advantage. People are always people always see nightlife entertainment as a man's world. So if you're a gal like me who wants to make it in the industry, you've got to work twice as hard. That makes sense. Not that it's right, of course. Well, my job is to show I can do more than any man out there. To prove women can win in a man's world. And what pisses me off the most is people who say only men can get ahead and deny women our place in society. I see. So I guess you weren't all thrilled when I said I couldn't ignore a lady being harassed, huh? Maybe it sounded like I was looking down on you. Yeah, you get it. Still, I'm glad you did what you did. <laughs> yeah, me too. Come to think of it, I haven't even asked your name. Who are you and what do you do? Oh, I'm Suzuki. I'm a taxi driver. Suzuki, a taxi driver. Could it be... Is something wrong? Oh no, nothing. I'm sure there are plenty of Suzuki-sans out there. Come to think of it, Zero Girls reminds me of a street racing group I heard about not too long ago. The Vixen Zeros, if I remember right. Oh! In fact, I heard they're made up of beautiful women. I even saw their leader's car. I think people call her... The Spangled Meteor. Well, aren't you an enigma? I wouldn't have picked you for the type who keeps up with street racing culture. Not many people know about that name. Don't suppose you're a street racer yourself? Oh, no. Not me. Hmm. You sure? Huh. Maybe I'm just reading into it. Oh, speaking of street racing, I heard an interesting story myself the other day. This Nagasu taxi driver is apparently taking on the Devil Killers. I think his name's Suzuki-san too. She's onto me. Coincidence, huh? Could you be the very same Suzuki? I mean, what are the odds, right? <laughs> you know, I just remembered I have some urgent business. Don't worry about that drink. I have to go. Hey, Suzuki-san. I'll pay you back some other time, okay? Later. So she's heard the rumors about me. Wonder if she's a street racer herself. Could I have met the Spangled Meteor just now? Yes, that is definitely what was implied. Level B! Insane! Excuse me, this is Cafe Portugal, right? Are you Haruka's father? <laughs> You've seen my daughter? She ran off and hasn't come home. I know. I actually saw her not too long ago. I can take you to where she is if you'd like. Of course! Lead the way, random stranger who's approached me. Down to the blue. Oh. Is this the place? Where's my daughter? She should be here. I don't see her anywhere. What's the meaning of this? Over here, you old farts. Oh, what the fuck? <coughs> Dad! Haruka, what's going on here? It's those guys that were tormenting that puppy. Looks like they're back with reinforcements. You may think you're tough, but we have strength in numbers now. You don't stand a chance. You'll be dead as a doornail by the time we're finished with you. You stay back. I can take these guys. I can't let you do this alone. They've taken my daughter hostage. What kind of father could just stand here and watch? All right, then let's take them on together. Time to give these brats a lesson in humility. Wait, did the girl just teleport? She was right there and now she's not. Into the soup. Into the soup. Into the soup. Never gets old. Introducing dickheads to the soup. How'd we let these geezers get the best of us? Haha, <laughs> you really pack a punch there, sir. 
You didn't do so bad yourself. Look, your daughter's waiting. Dad, did you come here to get me? Of course I did. I was worried about you. I was nearly going crazy not knowing where you were. Look, Dad, I'm sorry I said those things about wishing my biological dad was around. It was a terrible thing to say. Don't worry. I don't expect you to forget about him just because I'm around. And I'm sorry I got frustrated and yelled at you. I promise I won't do that again. All I care about is that you come home safe with me and your mum. Okay, let's go home, Dad. So you're good now, Haruka. Hey, wait up. I haven't had a chance to thank you properly. I know it's not much, but here, take this. You got beads of good fortune. Shove them up your ass to receive good fortune. Thanks, mister. I hope you can go see your Haruka-chan sometime. I bet she misses you too. Huh? Like you said, isn't it a dad's job to bring their kids back home when they run away? You're right. Not that it was Haruka who ran away. Level up! <laughs> Poggers, we can level two things. Uh, right. Let's go with... Steal a weapon and... Use their weapon against them. Sure. Kili do Kili. Uh, where next? Where next? We have three more question marks. I'm still not sure what that exclamation mark is. Excuse me, you wouldn't happen to be Suzuki-san from Nagasu Taxi, would you? Who's asking? I'm with the Vixen Zeros. Our leader has a message for you. What is it? On behalf of the Vixen Zeros, the Spangled Media wishes to challenge you to a race. She's ready and waiting whenever you can come. Why does she want to race me? I'm just a taxi driver. The Spangled Meteor is well aware of your exploits, and perhaps you're well aware of hers. Does that give you a hint? It must be that girl Nanami. So she was the Spangled Meteor. What do you say, Suzuki-san? Ready to race? Let's do it. Tell her it's on. Ha, huh, excellent. I guess she picked the right opponent. Well, I'd better be going. Looking forward to seeing you on the road, Suzuki-san. So I'm set to race the Spangled Meteor now. I wonder what she wants with me. That's the Spangled Meteor. The only way to actually see one of the Vixen Zeros is to beat them in a race. I guess I'll have to give this a shot. Okay, what's the course like? Also, aren't I just gonna get fucking washed here? Uh, Course, intermediate one lap and then advanced one lap. So does that mean the first time we go left sooner than the second time? I guess that's what that means. I mean, that car is just way faster than mine, so I'm not sure how I'm supposed to ever catch up. I'll eventually get turbo, but... Yeah, we'll be going further down that way next time, I guess. Blue thingy coming up. I didn't get the option. Why didn't I get the option? The blue thing was on the road. I thought that meant I got a boost thingy. Wonder what went wrong there. Whoops.
I don't understand why I didn't get an option to do the blue thingy. There's another one coming up here. Why didn't it come up the other time? Weird. Okay, well, there's one lap done. She's right up my arsehole. Some would say that's not a bad thing. I mean, what? She is gaining on me every second. He's insane! Well, that put me a decent chunk ahead again. There's a big fucking loop the loop coming up by the looks of it. And by loop the loop, I mean obviously not going upside down. I mean big old spin round to the left. Nailed it. Hmm. There's no further boost pad. It doesn't look like there's a blue section at the end this time. So I'm not sure that I'm going to win. Because I think she'll be able to catch up. Because she is faster than me at baseline. So without another boost pad, I don't know that I can actually beat her. Like, she's literally up my ass right now. Oh, I've got another turbo. Oh, get fucked. Suck me dry. Easy game. Easy game. It seems the rumours about Suzuki the taxi driver were true. So it was you. Rina Nanami, or should I say the Spangled Meteor. Haha, <laughs> my real name's fine. Only little boys who can't tell the gas from the brakes get stuck with the Meteor treatment. Tell me, why did you want to race me? There's only one reason I ever make a challenge. To see who's fastest. And I guess that's you. A guy. Thanks to thanks for demolishing my perfect record. You really hate losing to men, huh? That's right. I told you the nightlife industry is dominated by men, didn't I? Same with the racing community. It's always a man behind the wheel. The girl just sits in the passenger seat like an ornament. That's what everyone thinks. I, for one, can't stand being put in a box. So I took it upon myself to show anyone who tries whether their target is me or anyone else. Anyway, I've always been into cars. So I came up with this idea for a group where women can thrive, and it turned into the Vixen Zeros. I see. And you've kept up the struggle to gain women some recognition ever since. Uh-huh. I just wish I didn't have to bust my ass so hard only for some taxi-driving dude to leave me in the dust. Everyone will probably go dunking on us all over again. After all, we're just girls. Look, I know you're disappointed, but that doesn't mean you have to start from square one. You've already built up quite a name for yourselves. And it certainly doesn't matter what any frustrated male critic says. That only shows their ignorance of what it truly means to be a man. What matters is you, a woman who can drive like the wind. A street racer with integrity. Win or lose, I think you at least deserve credit for that. So give yourself some. Yeah, I guess there is that. Sometimes I get so caught up with fighting the good fight, I forget how far I've come. Happens when you're a girl with a goal. Haha, <laughs> now I'm glad we met and got to put our racing to the test. Oh, and this is to make up for that drink. Don't feel bad about taking it. Woo! 30 grand. Thank you. The mystery stone. Congrats, Suzuki-san. That's the first time I ever said that to a man and meant it. So yay for you. If every guy were as understanding as you, the world would be a much would be much better off. Be nice if they were as handsome too. Heh. <laughs> you don't have to say all that. 
In any case, I gotta get going. It really was a pleasure to race you. Thanks for accepting the challenge. So, do you plan on doing more racing from here on out? Not sure yet. For some reason, our race helped me get a lot out of my system. I'll probably take a break for a while before I get back to it. Oh, but if I ever do start yearning for some high-octane action, I can just catch a ride in your taxi, right? Hope you won't mind. <laughs> Mina Nanami, the Spangled Meteor. Now that's a badass lady. Clap. That was fun. That was pretty fun. And you know what time it is now? That's right, it is time to save and quit. Because that has been another couple of parts. They are flying by. I'm really liking most of these sub stories. There's a couple of mid ones, but for the most part, these are top tier. Very good stuff. I'm very happy because, uh, yeah, it's been it's been a rough couple of games on the sub story front before this. Just uh, not good, not good stuff. Lots of hey, walk, you know, ten minutes over there and then buy something from a shop and then walk ten minutes back, and that's the whole sub story. <laughs> and there's no other mini games or any. The, no, any interesting story to go with it or anything. It's just like, it's been incredibly mid sub story wise for the last couple of games. But this is definitely, this is definitely top tier. Definitely up there with zero and two. So yes, I'm very happy to continue doing them. And hopefully people are happy to watch me doing them as well. Because <laughs> it means there will be a while between main quest parts sometimes, but uh, you know. It do be what it do be. Anyway, that is it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around. Share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I'll see you next time for more Yakuza 5 Remastered. Thanks for watching. See you then.